Hello to all my beardsmen of royalty out there. This is Dan C., your trusted teacher, back again. And today I'll be joined by my beautiful wife, Sam, in a little bit. And this is our channel. This is where we describe and you guys subscribe. And today I'll be describing the company of the Royal Beardsmen, specifically in two sets. We have the Crusaders Coast and the Sire. So if you would like to stay along, please hit that subscribe button to stay with this journey with us and stay tuned for more information. Company, a little bit about the Royal Beardsmen. First, they are out of Florida, and they are owned by two lifelong buddies and beardsmen, and that is by Garrett, and then I believe it is pronounced Shan, or Sean, I'm sorry man if I butchered that, that's why as a teacher, like I said, I always make up nicknames for students if I can't pronounce it, S-H-A-N, I'm going to go Shan. Uh, but these guys take pride in making a company where they say they do not cut any corners. They are doing everything to the best ability for the product. And one of the things that they stand by that I talk about all the time is that they want to make sure beards are acceptable in our society no matter what. No matter what your profession is, they want that to be normal and to be something that is seen as being a value part of your style. And I couldn't agree with that more. As a teacher, my beard, especially when I keep it nice and kept, there is nothing unprofessional about this. I keep it very professional. And sometimes people still have a negative stigma about it. And they want to change that stigma. And I love that mission that they're on. And I'm right there with them. So that's a little bit about the Royal Beardsman Company. Price rating. I rate every company based on a one, two, or three dollar sign price rating. And today, I love to get to say this, I don't get to say this often, this company firmly gets a one dollar sign price rating. They have one of the best deals, one of the best bargains out there. What is so great about this company is that their oils come in the awesome two ounce containers. You know I love the two ounce containers. A two ounce oil, and a two ounce balm is going to run you under $30. Under $30 for four ounces of product. That is awesome. Right now on the site, you can get this combo for $29.95, somewhere in that range there. But it is under $30. That is amazing. We know there are companies out there that are charging $40 for a one ounce oil. One ounce of oil. Not only are you getting two ounces of oil, you're also getting two ounces of balm for under $40. That will last you a long time and you're getting the bang for your buck there. So with the quality and the bargain, a $1 sign price rating for the Royal Beardsman. Scent. What do these oils and balms smell like? First one I'm gonna cover is the Crusaders Coast. Now already with the name, I love it. It brings you to the pirates, it brings you to the Caribbean, it brings you to islands, that vacation type feel. And it's exactly what this scent is. It is a citrus scent, but it is an extremely unique citrus scent. I don't have any other citrus like this. It really takes you immediately to a vacation. It takes you to a fruity drink that you would have on an island or on a cruise ship. It's wonderful, wonderful. Right away, you get coconut in there, you get pineapple in there, all of those kind of um, exotic fruits that you would have on a vacation. Oh man, it's really, really good. It is more of a mellow citrus. It's not an extra sweet one. Uh, again, the best way I would describe it is if you took one of those pineapple drinks where they actually use the pineapple as your cup, and then they put in there the mango, they put in there the coconut, and it's just a really nice tropical scent. Very, very smooth, very enjoyable. And the balm is exactly spot on. It may be a little bit more subtle than the oil, but that's okay for a balm. In our second one, we've already had this mentioned in a video, but figured we'd put it in with this as well. And this is the Sire. And if you think to yourself, man, that rings a bell, this made our top cologne list. 
So this is the cologne scent here, and this is one of Sam's absolute favorites. It is a manly cologne. You smell this. It is strong. It's not the harshest in the world, but it does have a little bit of that cologne bite. When you smell it, you're like, all right, that's a man. This is not one of those colognes where it's laundry or super clean. It is a straight up manly cologne. And of course, colognes are the hardest scents to describe because the way I define a cologne scent for beard oils, traditionally it's with having alcohol and we do not want any alcohol in our beard products. So the way I describe it is a bunch of scents that come together that you cannot just pick out individual scents. On the Crusaders Coast, I can pick out coconut. I can pick out pineapple. Here, I have no idea. It just comes together for a very nice manly cologne. I've worn this on many date nights, and if you're somebody that's like me, that just occasionally wears colognes, I don't wear them on a daily basis, I don't wear them to school, this two ounce bottle would last you for years. Absolute bargain of a deal. In the ball, same thing. Little bit more subtle than the oil, but same exact matching scent. So I hope those stories and pictures help you guys understand what these smell like. All right, guys, I've brought in my beautiful wife, Sam. Hi. She's gonna give us the female perspective on these oils and balls. <clears throat> Sam, the first one we'll start with is Crusader's Coast. Okay. Crusader's Coast. Sounds like a pirate. Pretty, I think that's what they're getting out <laughs> there. Ooh, that smells <clears throat> really good. Yeah. How would you describe it to the um, people? Like fruity? Is it like pineapple? I said pineapple. Pineapple, yeah. for sure. I said pineapple, like coconut, kind of that exotic. Yeah, definitely like a fruity drink or yeah, something like definitely. that. Yeah, definitely. I like that. That's pretty it's much nice what I said. Fresh, but also sweet at the same time. Yeah, I so said it's not overly sweet. Like not, there are not citruses too sweet, that but are very, very sweet. I think this one is more muted on the sweetness. And it's, yeah, I said almost exactly that a pineapple drink that yeah. has everything in it. No, but not like an alcoholic pineapple right. drink because yeah. there's no like alcohol smell or anything like no, that in it. No, not at all. It uh, actually reminds me of our first vacation together. I think that was our first. The we, cruise? Yeah. We went to an island where Pirates of the Caribbean was filmed. Pirates of the Caribbean 2. Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> 2. And it was pretty much no human Deserted, activity yeah. anywhere. We had literal stingrays, wild stingrays swimming right by where us. Where was that at? Bahamas. Okay. Okay, Bahamas. yeah, Bahamas. It was awesome. We had to drive a long way. We found some shack and they had all like the local foods and everything. Yeah. It was awesome, awesome. So yeah. that reminds me of that. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Just straight up tropical vacation. That smells really good. Balm? Same. Oh, same. Yeah, I love that. I know. I said a little bit more subtle. Is it a little bit more subtle for you or same level? Same level for me. Okay, yeah. yeah. For me, it's just a little bit more muted, but it's so nice. It's just a tropical vacation yeah. in like Nevada. That. And we constantly dream and talk about tropical vacations. <laughs> so We're yeah. always wanting to go on cruises, but we're like, um, with two toddlers, maybe it's not the safest yeah. thing, having we're, them running around on a giant boat. We were trying to think about like where they would go and... I was like, ah, oh, they have libraries we can put them in. We'll lock them in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll go have fun. Uh, and second one, that one uh, I've worn several times, but we have not talked about it yet. This one we have talked about before. Yes. And this is the Sire. The Sire. Yes. Mm, so good. Cologne. My favorite. I love cologne. You guys yep. know that. It's just... A good cologne. Yeah. I don't know how else to describe it. I know. Colognes <laughs> are so tough. I said it's like manly. Um, I said you got different levels like clean laundry. I don't think it's that. No. I think this is a manly cologne. A but not harsh. Cologne. Right. I don't know. The only way that I describe cologne is <laughs> good or bad. Like yeah. this is a good one. I yep. like this. I think everybody would like this one. And I have had bad ones. I've literally brought them in. She goes nope and so mm -hmm. um she does there's some that she does not like for me it's like clear cut yes or no on yep. colognes and this one's there's no in between strong yes for yes her. yes it's i good. think i think the oil and the balms are equal okay right? see I, for whatever reason smell. i think it's a little bit more subtle like as i bring it up to my nose it's a little bit softer okay and then i get it and then the oil is like right there hello yeah 
It's nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. I love that one. That and one sounds good. they're definitely for two different situations, yeah. of course, but they're still good. Every day, and then I like this for like date night. Since since you don't like to wear cologne every yeah. day. Yep. I do not. But I do on date nights. Every yeah. date night. Or if I need to feel fancy. I had to teach uh, professional development <laughs> the other day, so I was going to be close. <laughs> Close to a bunch of teachers, so I threw on a cologne just to seem like I was sophisticated or something, but oh well. All right. I threw on my cologne beard oil and yep. my blazer. Yep, yep, <laughs> that is true. No, I just wore a polo. <laughs> it was too hot. Too hot for a blazer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Sam C. Approval? Mm-hmm. Absolutely on both of them. Yep. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Feeling beard. How do these products make my beard feel? What is the consistency of the products? All around awesome. Again, you may have asked yourself, man, I know I've heard our trusted teacher talk about this product before. This company made my top balms list for their consistency. They are awesome. This is one of the best balms out there. One of the best. It has an amazing consistency to the balm where it is not gritty, but it's not a buttery lotion whipped type. It is that perfect balance for a balm. It is your medium, but super unique and awesome feel for it. It gets in your hand and it's almost a paste type consistency and it immediately emulsifies down and is the perfect medium hold. I love a balm where I get a little bit of style, but I don't feel constricted like a wax, but it's also not light like an oil and just breezes through. It gives you a little bit of the scent and gives you the perfect amount of, of styling and hold. Unbelievable feel for their balm. Unbelievable. One of my absolute top. If you don't believe me, you can check my top balm list and you'll see what I said there. Now the oils. The oils are on the straight up medium consistency, maybe medium to light. They're not a thick oil. And especially when I have something like a cologne or if I have something like a citrus, I don't want a thick citrus oil. Citrus to me is light. Cologne to me is a date night. I want something that is going to be able to breathe and be lighter. And that's where these oils are. I would definitely not say they're light. I would say medium, maybe medium light on the side there. And the feel of beard is great. My beard always feels healthy. It feels hydrated. I can run the comb through it. And one way that I can tell if the product is good, when I get to my nighttime routine, that's when I can really tell. Because I usually don't reapply anything throughout the day. If I can run that comb through, that wooden comb at night, I can tell if my beard is dry or not. This stays hydrated all day. And I do use a good amount of product with this. I think subconsciously when I have a two ounce bottle, I'm like, all right, I can put in a little bit more. But it is awesome. Great styling feel, great health for the beard, and one of the best balm feels out there, period. So two thumbs up for the absolute feel in beard. Rebuy. Will I purchase these products or anything from this company again? Absolutely. Too good of a bargain and too high quality of products not to. This is a great deal and amazing products. You guys will experience it and feel that balm and feel how the oil is and the awesome scent. I already got my eye on, they have another citrus I believe, something like Forbidden Orchard. That sounds great. I really want to try that out. And these are guys that I use regularly. I use the Sire for kind of date night feels, not as often as the Crusaders Coast, but I throw the Crusaders Coast in all the time, especially on the weekends. I love having that when we go outside. It's a great feel for, for outdoors. And above all, I support their mission. When they have on their website and they talk about it and they show with their actions that they're trying to make beards acceptable in any profession, in any setting, I'm behind that. That is one of my goals with this channel. I want to show that you can be professional, you can be educated, you can be classy and have a beard. Absolutely, in any kind of profession. It just is who we are. It's our personality. And when it comes to work, people ask me all the time, would you take this job if they told you to shave your beard? No. Why would I ever want a job where I can't be myself? So I love that mission that they're on. I will certainly be repurchasing from this company and I will support them on their mission in any way that I can. Royal Beardsman, absolutely awesome company and I give them applause for what they're doing.